Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with another little kind of craft with me. It's not a tutorial, we're not going to be making anything, but I want to talk with you a little bit about the Fairy Magic journals. So I'm making two journals. One is going to be a giveaway. I'm not sure, it's going to be random, I'm not going to give any warning, I'm just going to wake up one day and I'm going to decide I'm going to pull a winner. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so um, in order to qualify, obviously, you would need to be a subscriber and you need to comment on videos. So that's just the only prerequisite that I have. So um, and the reason why I'm differentiating is I have this journal and then I have the lap book journal that I'm also going to be um, putting together. And I believe that's the journal I will be selling. I did have a request for a fairy journal, so I won't be putting any of, um, so let me back up a second. So the reason why I'm doing one giveaway and selling one is because I made a bunch of ephemera using a Flower of Fairies Digital that I purchased. And I believe I purchased it well over a year ago, not knowing that there was an issue with it. And I guess since then, um, it is, was discovered that they are under copyright and so they cannot be sold. So, but I can use them in my journals for gifting to someone I'm just not going to sell. So I'm going to use use any of the, the stuff in here that I made on camera. I'm going to put it in this journal and I'm going to give this journal away. So just so you know, that's that's my full disclosure. I had a person ask me about the flower, the flower fairies, and granted, I am cutting out of my books as well to use those, and those I can use, I, I can use at will. But a digital is a completely different beast. So because it is being it is being reproduced, right? Um, not my piece of work is not being reproduced, but the flower fairy image itself is. So I'm going to play it safe, and I'm going to just put those items in here. I'll probably keep some for myself just because I'm a, I'm a fairy lover, but I wanted to put some in this journal. So this, I have a whole basket, you guys. This is all the ephemera that we've made for flower fairies. That plus all of this. <laughs> so <laughs> I have a lot. So I pulled these ones out thinking that those are the ones, at least out of the get-go, I'm going to put in this journal. So let me talk about this beauty. So I did, um, I, my, uh, yeah, yeah. my mother began to get very ill and we thought that she had six months to live. And so in the interim of learning that um, they were going to stop treatment, I was not able to do a video. I just couldn't put myself together enough to do that and so I did this off camera and I had mentioned this in one of the first videos that I wanted to use this doily that I picked up at an antique shop so I did and I had this fabric in my stash but I coffee dyed it because I wanted it to look really grungy so I know the cover doesn't look amazing but I will be putting some kind of a large pocket in here or maybe I'll cover it with some lace I haven't quite decided um, so that's what I did and then I just glued the doily on any journal to be honest guys I was hoping that I could wrap this around and have it be a closure but any journal would have been too big because it just was not long enough so what I'm going to do is I'm going to when I once I figure out what I'm doing with the back cover I'm going to um, attach it here I'm hoping to like attach it with a button or something but we'll see um, so so that's it I guess one could also well no because that's all glued down I'm still kind of stewing about that, <laughs> but I was able to use the doily and I'm super happy about that. I love how it turned out. So really beautiful on the back as well. So let me show you what we've done so far, what I've done so far. I did this off camera. So I this journal has two signatures and these are using the Fairy Magic and the um, Fairy Tea Party Kits from my Porch Prints and all of those click kits and things I used will be linked um, in the supply list and the supply list is over on my blog and a link to the blog is in the description box. So these are the pages that I selected. So this I'll have to pull and figure out, uh, uh, I'll have to find out where I got this image. Um, I want to make sure you guys, you guys get that. I think it's called In the Garden. Um, and then so a vintage music page, paper from my stash. And I just like that, the hand of you. I love it. Love it. This is a, uh, this is a mixed media paper of mine. It's an original. I mean, it's a, it's mine. I created it and I printed it 
out on vellum and I just love what that looks like like on top of the girl the fairy so that's that and then we've got another vellum page with um, that's printed with a page from the kit on vellum sorry I cannot talk I'm still I'm still really really struggling you guys I, I came in the studio today is all I wanted to do was sleep all day and I can't you know I have to get back in to the routine and I have to I have to manage this so um, so I'm taking care of myself and I'm resting when I need to rest but I can't I can't sit around all the time um, <clears throat> so anyway getting all teary here um, this is another um, this is an actually an original of my mixed media paper um, is look at that is that beautiful or what absolutely stunning so um, so this one just turned out to be both both sets of colors were perfect for this journal so because we've got some of this teal and green as you can see in this little bit and um, and then we've got the purples and stuff that is in here so lovely and I might actually pull this paper and make something for the front and back cover using this paper because I think it would be really pretty <clears throat> and I do um, use a coffee dye digital to back all of my papers with all of the digitals uh, the other half of the vellum the other half of that vellum and then this is some lace I got I think I got this at our local antique shop and I just thought it made this really beautiful kind of veil so we're gonna have that in there and then um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this page yet um, I think I want to make some clusters or something and and have this be still pretty visible because I like that I like it so and then that's the other half of that in the garden page and then so that's the end of the first signature I do have room in here for um, some inserts I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna make but I do have plenty of room so this uh, this journal measures uh, six inches by nine inches with a two inch spine so you can see I have room here I have room here and I have room here but because I like to bulk up my journals I won't be able to utilize all that space because it's going to be taken up when this starts to get filled up so uh, without further ado let me get back to the focus here so there we go there's another page on vellum another page from that in the garden uh, paper perfect for fairies this is another one of my coffee dyed papers this is actually acrylic ink and stencils and again I um, take pictures of all of them and then I use them as copies so this is printed on vellum another vintage um, music page and then this one is this is a page that the pocket goes on both sides so there and there so I thought that was pretty nifty and I sewed it in usually I forget that I want to do this kind of stuff until after I get the signatures in I'm like oh crud I should have sewed that in this time I remembered so there we go and there's another page of that um, that green and yellow which is just so beautiful and bright this is again my coffee dyed paper and this is um, look at that isn't that just exquisite um, if I don't say so myself if I do say so myself um, so there we go and the other half of that and then the other half of the vellum and that is it and our our oh one, one more vellum and then our cute 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 little dragon so let me show you what I have I have e6000 out because I am putting a couple of pretty hefty mixed media things in here so let me show you those first because I have to be very strategic with these pieces. Um, there are these ones here. These were some of the first pieces I made for this journal and I was actually thinking it might be cool to put them in the cover because it's, it's solid enough that it would hold it. And I think it's just a great introduction into the journal. Um, and then this one would go in the back. So that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do but I haven't quite decided so I'm gonna hold on to these they would also go on a page well, they're actually not that stiff or thick I remember showing you guys the profile of these when I was making them not too bad so this is one of the flower fairy digital so again I am honoring the fact that they are not they are copyrighted and so I'm not selling this for all you all the YouTube censor people 
not selling. <laughs> Um, but I thought it would also be really, really pretty here, so I'm probably going to lean towards that. But I, I, um, I have the E6000 because I need that for the heavier items to actually stick in here. So I'm actually think I've already made up my mind about where I want those to go. So I'm just grabbing a couple of clips here so that I can also hold them, hold it in place. So let's go ahead and um, I really don't want this one in the front though I don't think I don't want to put these in right now though if I put them in the cover because I, I don't like how this looks it's a little bit too too rough for me so I need to figure out what I want to do with that so let's just set those aside for a moment so these are all things that I made on camera this is that triple booklet it is stapled and it's got this little sleeve so that it can be you can open it up and you can journal on all these little cute pages and um, then the only piece the only bit that gets glued in is this the sleeve so let's see where we want this well, let me show you what we have first because i'm already all discombobulated and then this is another one in a smaller a smaller um, size this is the mixed media tag that we did love this it's it's pretty it's not all that thick but it's very stiff because of all the mediums that I used so isn't that just precious oh, love it um, this is one of the vellum uh, little envelopes that we made that will definitely go in here this is the one I made that was inspired by Carol Ann over at Cage Crafts so that's gonna go in this journal this is our little pocket with the window and it comes out like that and fits perfectly there. So that's going to go in here. Got a couple of vellum over the page vellum clusters. Uh oh, there we go. Um, I did notice though there's a little bit of a struggle. I, t I tried it out on a page and I think I need a tiny, tiny paper clip, probably one of those little Tim Holtz paper clips, just to hold it on the page. Otherwise, it's just going to go willy nilly wherever it wants. And then this is another one. And uh, this one is designed to go on a left page because I thought it would be fun to add a dangle to it. I just wasn't sure at the time what I wanted to do. This is that one of those, um, how do you call it? Oh, I can't remember the name of it. I watched it over on a Scrimping Mommy and uh, this is going in here again because that's a fair flower fairy. So, um, so it's got all these cute little bits in here and it opens up. I'm not gonna open it all up I want some things to be a cool mystery for whoever receives it. This is one of the pop-up paper bags that I thought we'd put in this journal. And then we've got four of these index cards. These are all four going in here because they all four have the flower fairies on them. So let's start with these. They would be a good place to begin. So, oh, this one actually be really, really pretty here. Oh, I cannot decide. Um, this one would be pretty here. Let's go ahead and put her right there. It's not too thick. Um, it's a little stiff just because of glue and stuff, but it's not thick at all. The profile is pretty thin. So let's go ahead and glue this one on. I'm going to use my uh, Art Glitter Glue. I'll be using this uh, Fabri-Tac and the E6000 when I get to that point here. So, um, yeah, I'm just almost feeling like this isn't going to hold it, but we'll see. So, I'm gluing on three sides, make sure that I'm thinking about this correctly since I'm a little cattywampus. I obviously took some time off work, so I go back tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to that. I'm not ready, but life goes on, right? And so that's going to go right there. I'm trying to get it inside the stitching lines if I can. It's a little bit tricky. Okay, I'm just going to hold that for a second. She looks really pretty now. Oh, I think this is actually paper scraps from these digitals, so that's kind of cool. So that should be good. I'm going to get my metal ruler out just so that I can um, 
make sure we didn't have too much glue spreading out. So, seems to be pretty good. And so let's find the place for all these other ones. So we're going to put two in each signature. She's really pretty, isn't she? I think I like this one better here. These were so fun, you guys. I had a blast with them. Okay, I'm going to get all confused if I don't hold this. So gluing on three sides. I obviously will still need to put things in the pockets, but I will probably do that off camera. I need to get something off of my desk. I need this journal off of my desk. So I will be finishing it off camera. I'll do a flip through and then I'll decide on the drawing. I'd love to give stuff away, you guys. I have a really hard time selling my work. I've sold sold a lot of mixed media work, but I've only sold one journal. So we'll see. <laughs> okay, so let's flip to the second signature and put the other two in. Just kind of looking at colors here to see what I like. And I do also want to make sure that I retain some edges because I'll probably put some lace on some of these pages. So I think this one would be really pretty here, but it also would be really pretty on the vellum, which believe it or not, vellum is strong enough. And it's actually the same, is it the same print? I think it might be the same print. Not sure. I think this one would be really pretty here. Let's do it. I'll check these later just to make sure that they they got nice and stuck down because they can be a little bit a little bit squirrely because the the, um, the card is a lot heavier than a normal piece of ephemera. I'm just going to grab a paper towel here so I can push. I realize I'm off camera here. Art glitter glue is nice if you if you really want things to to stick a little bit faster than than they would it would if you were using fabric tack. So so one more flower fairy index card. And where do we want you to go, little lady? How about on this last page? One of the last pages. How about this last page? And she's across from this purple page, which is another of those, I think it's that same image as this paper, so. So again, if you wanna be included in this drawing, um, you're just gonna need to watch videos <laughs> and leave comments, so. Um, because I'm not sure how I'm going to pull it at this point. Just going to be a random draw. Still working on the Shabby Travel Journal. That's the 3,000 subscriber giveaway grand prize. So this journal will not be a part of that drawing though. I want to make sure that that stays separated. Although I did make a, a fairy, foli fairy magic folio that will be part of the drawing. It'll be one of the prizes in the 3,000 subscriber giveaway. There we go. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. So I don't want to load this up too much. We can stick these in. Um, and they, they go really well on a vellum page, actually. Um, this one would maybe be really pretty here. It's got some pink tones in it. And I will get those little paper clips late. Oh, you know what? I think I have some right here. I didn't really want to get up, so that's why I was going to put that off. But I think I have them here. Give me a second, guys. Yeah. 
cool. Coolio. Okay. So I'll show you what I mean though, why they need to be kind of clipped a little bit because they're pretty flimsy, right? And there is a video for this, so you can check out the playlist for the Fairy Magic Journal if you want to see how I made these um, vellum dealios over the page cluster. So I'm just going to put a paper clip on there. It's just enough to hold it in place. Look at that. So let's put one in the first signature as well. sure what I want to do here. Let's go ahead and put it on this vellum page. Actually, I think this was supposed to go on another, on the other side so that it could have a dangle on it, but I don't know if I'm going to put dangles on them. We'll see. There we go. Okay, so let's look at the, some of the bigger pieces. I do want to make sure this one gets in. This one gets in. Oh, I have two of those. I don't want both of them. I think I'll go for the purple one. Mm, this would actually be really pretty in the front. Look at that. So many decisions though. really nice here. What do we think? Or we might hold on to that one for the other journal. I want this one next to a green page though. Something with a lot of that green I think would be really complimentary. There's not one. There's not one. That looks kind of weird, doesn't it? You can see that envelope or that index card. I'm not liking that. I'm going to have to put something there. Not liking that at all. Should have thought about that. Showing as much as it is showing. Hmm. The cool thing about putting stuff on a vellum page is that you do, it strengthens the, the page. It's, vellum is pretty strong, but this helps it a lot. But I'm not liking that at all. I need to figure, I'll have to put a pocket on here uh, from the kit, I think. So, sorry, I'm, I'm all over the place, you guys. I'm undecided on that piece, so we'll, we'll wait. Let's find a place for this. Is this would be a great one because it's across from that paper. And so this is a corner tuck. So I think it's supposed to be a double tuck so something else can be slid in so it'll be glued on on the two sides like a normal kind of corner pocket. I'm going to take that out for the moment and um, go ahead and use my art glitter glue across the bottom. I had so much fun making ephemera for the, these journals, you guys. It has been a blast. But I'm almost to that point where I need to move on. And, uh, and so that's, you might see things moving a little bit faster with these journals. I am taking a break uh, for a video or two and I'm gonna do another little project because, because I need to. <laughs> so I'm gonna slide that back in there and that little window. little card goes in that little window. Come on, why are we having trouble here? There's nothing inhibiting that. Goodness gracious, there we go. And so it's also open here, so that can be something else tucked in there. So that's beautiful there. And um, we'll 
sequins coming off everywhere. Shall we put that there? I love this so much. Love it so much. Um, I don't know. Don't know. I also would love to put this in here. I think I am going to put this here. So, E6000 time. So, this is messy. So, we're going to glue on the bottom and this side. So, get this open here. E6000 does take time to dry, but it is uh, it handles these thicker things a lot better than other glue. So just gonna get a good amount here without getting too much. And part of the reason why it holds so well is because it will go down into that texture of the of your base, whatever you're gluing down, and uh, it will it just it will work. So. I like this next to this green, so that's why I'm opting for that. So that means we're going to have to put the other one in the uh, in the first signature. So we'll go back and do that in a second. So I'm just going to press this for a minute because I'm not going to be able to get a clip on that side. Generally, don't have any trouble with this, um, but I am going to get a little piece of um, parchment here. I'm going to put one clip here, a couple on the bottom here actually, and I'm going to get a piece of parchment just so that I don't get, I don't want any of that glue oozing out and, and gluing me, gluing the pages together here. So let me grab a little piece, I should have a partial piece here, nope, it's okay, I'll just tear, I'll tear it here. There we go. I'm just gonna get a straight straight edge to go into that into that seam there. And then we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we're gonna go back to signature one and put the other one in. But where do we want her? Where do we want her? She would actually be really I wonder how she'd hold up on this. Probably a little bit thick. But I like that that I can still see a lot of that page. I'm thinking I want to do that. So let's just go for it. So when I have these mixed media pieces, I do kind of try to bend them a little bit just to help with some of the stiffness around the edges. Okay. This should be the last thing we need to use the, the uh, fabric or the E6000 for. So again, off camera here. Oh, I've got a, not a steady hand right now. It tends to have a mind of its own when it starts coming out too. So I have to set it down because I have to cap it, otherwise it'll keep coming out. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So let's get her down. Let's get her down. I'm going to put her a little bit away from that spine because I don't, it just makes opening and closing a lot easier. Beautiful. Get another piece of parchment here. Just again, better safe than sorry. You do not want E6000 sticking something you don't want stuck. Believe me. Actually, let's fold it. Stick it in there. Okay. So, we've got some other base piece. So we have this beautiful, beautiful vellum pocket, which I will put something in it as well, just not on camera. And I don't like to fill up all the pages because there's... You know, there's you want journaling space as well. So, just thinking about this a little bit strategically, I think it would be really pretty here, like that. It's a little bit stiff too for some reason. And just all those layers folded over, as well as the lace. 
So we're going to go ahead and um, hmm. I don't know how well it's going to stick. It's very, very, it's very crunchy, which I love. <laughs> I love the crunchy. Um, just debating on if I want to make it another pocket or like a tuck. I could make it a tuck. No, nope, not a tuck. I think I will glue it on the three sides and leave this edge open. Oh, I can't glue it on the top. That's the, that's the open. Goodness gracious, Care Renee. Um, sorry, I'm so indecisive right now. I'm going to pause on that. We do have this, though. This would be really pretty here. Shall we put that there? I think so. Kind of goes with what's next to it. So I'm just, again, I just only have to glue on the back of this. I'm going to use my, oh, let's go ahead and use the art glitter glue. I wonder what happened to my, um, I thought I had done some of those little, oh, shoot. I can't remember what they're called. Forget that. Forget that. <laughs> so sorry, you guys. Feels terrible to be out of sorts, though. Don't like it. There we go. Okay. What I'm talking about is the slider thing where I made those pieces and you pull and all the things flip up. But for the life of me, I can't remember what it's called. I thought I made some for the fairy journal, but maybe that was for another journal be before this one. I can't remember. I'll have to look. I tend to start, I make the ephemera right out of the gate and then I forget. I mean, I usually put it all together in the same place, but obviously sometimes I, I forget. There we go. Okay, so let's hop to the second signature and see what else we've got to put in here. that though don't like it this one would be okay here because it would really bring out um, the pink in that paper but this would also be neat as a tuck is uh, something tucked into a pocket so debating now I'm debating it would be really pretty here too but this is a great writing space a very fun writing space so do we want to put something on here? Can't do that tag though, it's so thick. So thick. We could do our little pop-up bag. ahead and do our little pop-up bag here. The colors are a little bit off here, but that's okay. So let me just show you in case you didn't see, there is a video on the channel. It's one of those pop-up bags that everybody was making and it's got these this nice little treasure of a fairy fairy uh, in there. So so I do have a couple more of these so I'll have to be sure to pull those fairies out and put something else in there so that I don't get in trouble. I mean, I did purchase the digital, but I guess what's right is right, you know? So this is going to get glued down on uh, three sides. So um, this side, this side, and this side. So I'm thinking I might just use the Faber-Tac this time. Give that a chance to flow down. Okay. 
Okay. I'm just gonna go right here. Fairy story, isn't that so sweet? So she's gonna go smack dab in the middle of that page. I'm just gonna hold this for a second. Give it a chance to set a little bit. My paper towel. Again, I will come in and probably put some lace on the edges. I also have some tabs, but I don't really want to do that on camera. There are the mixed media tabs that we made. So I will come back and do that off camera. So there's that. And so then this card slides in here, but we're going to leave it on top for now just to give that a chance to dry. And then um, what do we have left here? Hmm. I think we're not going to really be able to get much more in here. I think I'm okay to take that out now. I almost want to put this right here though. I just love that that on that page. The color is amazing, but I feel like it's too much. So, oh, it's coming up. Darn it. no way to hold that there. I can always come back and, and re-fix uh, that again. So we need to put something on this page because it's feeling like it needs it needs something. I could also clip this in which would be pretty too and just put a, a fancy paper clip. Oh you know what I forgot completely forgot we have fairy paper clips. My apologies guys oh my goodness look at this stuff I completely forgot about it. Okay, so we have paper clips galore here. I'm not sure why all this. Oh, and then we've got these little danglies. Oh my goodness. I'll have to add some of these off camera though because I don't think I can make that decision right now. But, oh, that's a shabby travel one. Mm, this is so pretty. These were the button dangles that we did. So pretty. Maybe we'll try to put that one in here. Oh. oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, and then we've got this one. would be really pretty to find a place for that one. So I do have paper clips here. <laughs> Forgot about those. And then these are our tabs. Uh, again, I'm not sure that I want to do that with you guys on camera. But these are the mixed media tabs that we did. So they're pretty stiff, so they're going to take a little bit of finagling. So I may hold on to those as well. Just so indecisive about this for some reason. It has to be glued on three sides though, so, and I have to make sure I don't get that, that in there, so, um, so let's just do it. Let's just do it. brain is not completely connected. You ever have that happen where your your brain is not able to communicate with your body? Hopefully this will stick okay. I'm just going to try to put it right there in the center and give that a press. Hopefully it won't take too long to adhere there. Oh my goodness. The vellum is a funny thing though. It's really strange in this case because it just wants to pop right back up. So let's just give her some TLC here. I don't really like that this is sticking up, but we we'll have to deal with it because you have to have some way to get things into that pocket. So I won't put anything in there. It'll be something pretty lightweight too when I do. But I love how this wax seal 
turned out. I am waiting. I have a, an order from Craftspire coming. They asked me if I'd like to show or um, have some of their product and demonstrate it again. And so I'm waiting for that to come because it, there's some fairy um, wax seals. So there we go. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Okay. So um, what I was going to say about paper clips, there was a reason why I said something about paper clips. So this one could go here because it's the opposite of that page. And so here, what a person can do is just clip something under there, you know, just whatever. There we go. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Okay, let's go to the second signature and see if we can find a perfect spot for another one. See if we can slide that in there now. Probably not. Seems tight. I'm just running my ruler under there as I showed you before. If I have to cut the card down, it's not a big deal. I'll just have to do that off camera because I'll have to re-ink it, but it should fit. Um, not quite though, so I will work on that. And then, um, we could put one on here as well. So let's go ahead and use this one that says Fairy Dust like that so beautiful so beautiful okay so you guys I have some more pieces here I did not use but I need to think about it uh, I don't want to rush into anything that's now holding thank you thank you and um, I almost want to do this as a tuck because it's so stiff it would make a great little corner tuck and it would actually be really pretty. Oh, it's going to cover up that though. Don't want to do that. Okay, guys, I am gonna um, I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye for now. And again, if you would like to be in the drawing for this journal, please just continue to watch and comment um, on my videos, and I will I'll do a random draw. So um, I will talk to you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.